This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to make things move in Motion 5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. I'm glad to have you with us. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use simulators to create some amazingly simple, yet simply amazing effects. These are called simulators. Simulators simulate the behavior of gravity, of uh, orbiting, and I just want to give you a couple things to look at. Okay, so I'm going to create a motion project. I'm going to set the defaults. Again, it could be, I'm doing 720p because I'm working at a very small screen size. F5 to hide layers, F6 to hide timeline editor, and F7 to hide the HUD. Shift Z to get everything to fit inside the um, canvas. Let's go to the library. And let's look for the word blue under content. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope, that's not it. So let's look for aqua. Q-U-A. Aqua ball will work. Okay, we'll just drag that over. Okay, the first thing I want to do is talk about attracted to. I'm going to create some text and call this a moving object. Could be a truck. Okay, we're going to select the moving object and we will apply a basic motion of throw to it. F7 for the HUD, and we'll set the to go that way. Spacebar to play. So we now have a moving object. In the Layers panel, notice that both our Aqua Ball and the moving object are in the same group. That's an important point. So I'm going to grab the Aqua Ball, go to Behaviors, Simulation, and say Attracted To. It says, well, what is it attracted to? It's attracted to the moving object. So now as the moving object moves, the aqua ball is uh, attracted to the letter M. Finds the letter M really very attractive and it keeps trying to move closer and closer. Could you imagine trying to do that motion path inside Final Cut? It wouldn't happen. And yet here, we've got our moving object and the seagull is just flying next to the boat. Um, the little puppy is chasing after the little boy. I mean, whatever story you want to tell, attracted to, is very cool. Let's try something different. Let's try simulation, edge collision. Oh, this is quite nice. So if we do simulation, edge collision, what this does is let us um, apply a throw behavior to this because we've got to get some motion going here. And so we'll throw that this way. What the edge collision does is it bounces off one edge, bounces off another edge, bounces off a third edge. So what happens if I take the aqua ball here and move it around, and then I build a rectangle here, and now we show the edge. Okay, so now look at this. Now we set a box where it bounces off the edges of the box. <laughs> Grab the width. You can change the width so it moves in different directions. You can, well, that's kind of weird. You can change the height. Give ourselves something to play with. Let's hide our rectangle. Move the aqua ball higher. Throw it. Throw, not spin. Spin gets stuff to rotate. Very helpful, but not what I want. Spacebar to play this. Now, with the aqua ball selected, behaviors, simulations, gravity. So we throw the ball, and the ball just dies. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Zoop. You want it to go faster? We can change the acceleration. Oops. Right. Simulating gravity. Boom. All right. Let's try something different. Orbit around. Simulator. 
orbit around. What's it going to orbit around? We drag the icon for the moving object into the gravity well. You can only do it from the Layers menu. Drag the icon for moving around into the gravity well. Spacebar. It's now orbiting around our moving object. Similar to attraction, except we can have it have some drag so it slowly starts to get closer and closer. We can increase the strength. I have no idea what the math is behind it, but it causes my brain to hurt. Here's another one we can do. I like this one. Uh, let's take and create a background. Let's see, select the group, library. Let's go to content and particle emitters, sparkles. This will work. And we'll take the aqua ball, we'll go here, and we're going to get rid of orbit around. We're going to add, don't you die on me, people are watching. Their feelings would be hurt. Basic motion, throw, F7. There we go. We want it to move in that direction, and we're going to apply simulation vortex which is like the giant disruptor field. Sucks everything in its path into it. <laughs> Ships sailing through the ocean, you can have fish attracted to it. Make this object invisible, so we turn this off, but keep the effect. We still get the vortex effect, but we don't see the object that's causing the vortex. It's magic. All right, let's try this. Slightly different. The opposite of vortex will delete vortex. Select the aqua ball. Turn the aqua ball on so we can see it. This is the last simulation I want to cover. And it's repel. Simulation and repel. So now... <laughs> Everybody is afraid of the aqua ball. <laughs> Quick, run in the opposite direction. There's no way I could program that. But I could take a particle emitter, which has got dust, and have a cartoon car drive through the dust. Repel takes care of it. Or the dust gets accumulated behind the car. It's a simple simulation. We add some movement, throw, we apply repel, scares away, vortex, attracts, instant magical effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at how to make things move in Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 125. Membership is a great value, especially if you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership in our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.